Okay, good morning ladies, it's your girl Eunice Marie here and I am here. <laughs> um, Really quickly, I wanted to come with you guys really quick this morning because I'm running out to work. But I wanted to come and share with you guys my face. You guys know I've been battling acne and I couldn't figure out what the hell is breaking me out. It's been about four days now that I've not had one outbreak, one pimple on your girl's face. Do you see the smile? Do you see the smile? Look at, okay, I have makeup on right now, but you can still tell. Look at my face. There is not one pimple, boo. Look at this side. There is not one pimple, boo. Not a pimple in sight, okay? I just wanted to come really quick and put this on camera so I can get this moment filling on camera but I am definitely going to come back probably later on tonight and do an update show you guys my face again and talk to you guys what I've changed in my regimen which is not too much just something slight, slightly some slight differences that may have contributed to this but I will definitely let you guys know so stay tuned Here and I am back now that clip beforehand you guys saw was actually this morning of me before I went to work and now you guys can see I was really excited because I don't have not one pimple on my face um, I do have on makeup from earlier like I said in the video so I have makeup on now but if I was just get a little bit of a close-up as you guys can see besides the oiliness please excuse the oil spill on aisle 10 <laughs> if you can see on my face there's not one pimple there's a lot of oil but there's no pimple on my face here and there's no pimples on my face on this side. Um, I do see one coming in right here, so maybe I spoke a little bit too soon. But in my general areas where I break out, there's not one pimple. Can I get a round of applause? I'm really, really excited. So um, I don't know if I'm going to upload this video today just yet I may actually wait to the end of the month to upload this video because that was the plan to upload a video of my <clears throat> acne update at the end of the month so I may just hold off on this one and, and I don't know you guys may see it earlier you guys may not see it till the end of the month but you know it's gonna get uploaded either way though okay um so I just want to talk to you guys real quick about what could have contributed to this me not breaking out in like four days not having one breakout so there's two things that have changed when it comes to my um there are two things that have changed when it comes to my uh regimen and these were two changes that really i didn't think about them i just happened to not do them anymore and it just kind of it just i think that's what had an effect on my skin um, first thing, I stopped using the Neutrogena on the spot 2.5% benzoyl peroxide treatment. Um, I ran out, so I was just like, okay, I have to get some more, and I just never got a chance to go to the store and get any, so I haven't been using that on my skin. Doesn't look like I really need to use it now, huh? So I haven't used that, and I started using a new foundation that was the, I mean, a, a new powder, which was the L'Oreal True Match Mineral Powder. And I haven't been using my regular um, L'Oreal True True Match powder the other. Using this powder on my face. That. If you guys haven't seen my review for this, I will leave it down below. This is what I have been using on my face for like the last week or two um, when I got this. So it's been a while that I've been using this and I stopped using my regular powder because I really do enjoy the way that this powder feels and leaves my skin looking. Oh, I'm in love with it. Okay. So those are two major things that have changed those are two things that have changed in my regimen for like the past i want to say week or two so and those are the only things that have changed everything is the same i wash my face with the same thing i moisturize my face with my coconut oil or my ole um sensitive um moisturizing lotion um so everything else is the same only thing two things have changed were those two things okay um, so benzoyl peroxide, I can kind of understand that one. All right, you know, probably was doing a little bit too much with my skin, and maybe that is what caused a certain reaction to it. Um, but it's kind of like the powder. I'm like, maybe could it have been the powder that broke me out? And I'm looking at the ingredients. Um, it, there's definitely less ingredients in this one than there is in this one. 
and maybe there's some type of ingredient in here that does not register with my face and it kind of I kind of overlooked my powder as one of the problems because I've never had an issue with my powder breaking me out same thing with my face wash I never had an issue with my face wash break my face wash breaking me out until like recently I used to use clean and clears deep um, pour cleansing deep pour cleansing um, face wash been using it for decades okay literally decades okay and um, it's like what the heck I always I didn't think that that was the issue I overlooked my own face wash like come on that cannot be the problem until I chucked it and I started using something that was more gentle and that started to kind of actually help my skin I was like okay maybe it was that same thing maybe my maybe my powder was the problem maybe I overlooked my powder because I've been wearing it forever and what it couldn't possibly be the thing that's breaking me out but it is something that I put on my face every day but I overlooked it because I never had an issue with it so it just kind of makes me come at my acne journey a little differently and I think that's kind of one of my tips to anybody out there dealing with acne you have to look at everything that you're using on your face from your pillows to your washcloths to your skincare regimen to your skincare products sorry to your skincare regimen as well that's very important to your um your products which you're using on your skin and i mean it's just kind of common sense to look at these issues but like i said i overlooked it because i never had an issue with my powder like i never had an issue but i don't know skin changes skin becomes um you know it, your skin changes your, your body changes as you get older and maybe this is just something that my skin does not agree with anymore i'm kind of now hesitant to actually put this on my face again you know um a part of me wants to kind of like test it like put it on one side to see if there's any breakouts that happen on that one but you know what though i may officially be chucking my l'oreal i may actually be be actually i may actually be graduating to this so I don't know that's the hard one but yeah so just that is my acne update for this month January so far so good so um let's just see how this goes and actually um I'll probably do a little I'll do like little update videos you guys know I always keep you guys updated on my lovely acne journey you know but um yeah so Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.